hello hello I'm vintage conversation welcome to my channel I'm popping in a couple minutes early because I have so much to show you today that uh, I need to go ahead and get a head start I'm a little I am rushing in from walking the dogs I'm home alone today so I'm a danger to myself and everyone else <laughs> but I saw I had to walk the dogs but walk the dog come running in here fixing everything and sit down I thought okay I've got all this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get started we are having a live haul today instead of doing a filmed one and you know the reasons why I went to the Oklahoma City Goodwill bins not this last not the week before Easter but the week before that so and I have wow it was a really good day at the bins in my opinion I found so many lovely things that I'd like to show you today and so many lovely things that I'm not even going to show you because I found I found a lot of office supply there was a lot of things I can use for package toppers. I found, I'm looking over at my shelf, a half dozen or more vintage uh, decks of cards that I'm going to be able to use for my package toppers. Um, let's see, what else am I not showing you? Oh, I found about 30 of the 78 record albums. Hi, Dolores. How are you? I found it like 30 something of the big 78 record albums. They're all vintage albums. Um, Doris Day, jazz, you, you know, my kind of music that I like to put on when I'm doing stuff around the house. And then I found a whole stack. I don't know where they went. Oh, they were here somewhere. I guess they're not. Maybe they got moved. I found a whole stack of 45s of the vintage ones. Um, Judy in Disguise, Two Beatles. Um, oh gosh, just some uh, Brownsville Station smoking in the boys' room. So it, that was, I was very happy with that. We like uh, to collect records. We have a bunch of them. We have all of our records from when we were teenagers. So, hi, Judy. I'm good, Dolores. Thank you very much. Um, busy, busy, busy. Hi, Tammy. Tam Tam here. Hope you had a good time with Grandma Frankie. Yeah, see, Judy and this guy. And the thing was about it that, darn, I don't know where they got put. That's a bummer. They were. I thought they were sitting here. I feel like they've been snatched. They're probably right under my nose and I just can't see them. They've got beautiful labels, you know, just beautiful labels. But anyway, this is all from the Goodwill bins in Oklahoma City. And it's a lot. It's a lot. So we'll just, uh, we'll just jump right in. I found, I always pick up vintage sewing notions. I like them. I, oops, I quilt. So I love the old sewing notions. If I could find the vintage Barbie patterns in there, I would be so, look under my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> what, can you see them? Oh, I get it. Fly by, got it. Okay, so patterns. This one is like 1985. And it's an apron pattern. I love to make aprons from the vintage patterns. Then we're, we're going back in time. Look at these 1981 wedding dress and bridesmaid dresses. <laughs> Look at those styles. Hey, Nate. Hard to believe some of the things we wore. Okay, this is 71. Check out these aprons. These are the days of the prairie skirts and the, the, the middies. I loved midi dresses. 
This one is actually 71 too, although you wouldn't believe it. Be it doesn't look. Hi, Lori. It doesn't look as old, but it really is. It's a 1971. <clears throat> Check out this groovy pattern. 1969, baby. Look at those vests. Oh, my goodness. Hi, cat. Is that not cool? This one even has fur on the edges. <laughs> I've had this one. In fact, I think I have this one in the closet. I think so. Then I have two of the same pattern here. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I always drop something. This one is 1966. And like I said, I have two of those. And then this one, I could not readily find a, a date on it and it's coming apart. So I didn't want to fiddle with it too much until I've had a chance to really work on it. But it looks like, you know, fifties to me by the, that nipped in waist, even on an apron. Can you believe it? Well, Judy, if the headband gives you a headache, you're wearing it too tight, sweetheart. <laughs> Loosen your headband just a little bit. And I found this thing. I have not seen one exactly like this. This, So it accordions, and it's got a little leg back here that you can stand it on. And it was full of all these wooden spools and it's got a little area for putting your knee your needles and your pins and stuff in i thought that was super neat and look at the, the blue flowers on the top are still there hi christina so i was i was very happy with that i guess i should have started over here where i have to move things as i'm getting to oh wait let me show you what's in my lap first Sorry, I'm back. Because I keep dropping it. I found this vintage bed jacket. Look at that. Woo! These sleeves. It's made of like a peachy, peach, kind of a silky material. And got all this uh, blue lace on it. Blue and white ruffled lace. Little tiny snaps. It's handmade. Now, most of you are probably old enough to know what a bed jacket is. But in case you didn't, I'll tell you. Back in the days when ladies got up and they were going to stay in bed for a while, they needed something to put over their, their jammies. Or, for instance, if they were going to be in the hospital, and especially when ladies went and had babies, they always got new bed jackets so that people could come and visit you and you could have your nightgown covered up and you'd look fancy laying in bed without having to have your whole nightgown on. I'm sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading Nate's comment. It, uh... Oh, ooh, that sounds cool. So I got that and I got this tablecloth, which it could be used or it could be a cutter. It's got a hole in it. It's got some loose lace right here that needs to be tacked back on, but isn't that pretty? All that, that hand sewing work. At every corner, it's got the basket, but a little bit along the edge. Nothing in the center but a stain. But it's got a couple of holes here and there. It's got a big one somewhere. Let me see. I'm lost in the covers. Well, I thought it had a big one. Here it is. See? So, I mean, someone could patch it if they wanted to. If they wanted to preserve it like this, they could rework it into uh, dresser scarves or something like that. They could cut it and work it into a quilt. 
whatever they wanted to. Then I found another one that is in really good shape and it's beautiful. Let me show you the center pattern. Oops, this way. Look at that center pattern and it's they're pink and orange cross stitch flowers. Let's see if I can get the light on it. Here, try that one. Isn't that pretty? And it goes, it's got a scalloped edge. They're on the corners and along the edges. I cannot wait to have this room finished because I'm going to have a design wall there that's um it's made for you know organizing quilt blocks and stuff and they're kind of sticky anyway i'll be able to put these things up on it so you'll be able to see them properly um we got a set of the linux coffee mugs still in their box they these bad boys have never been used and they are so pretty hi angela Hi, Norma Jean. Let's see what else. Oh, I got this. This little divided three division dish with a little handle in the center with the fruit. Um, it's got this shape. It's got the remnants of a silver sticker on it. So I'm sure it was Japan. That's what it looks like. A lot of nice crazing on it. I love crazing. Yeah, I know I'm zipping along, but I have so much stuff. Trust, I should turn the camera and show you all this stuff. And all the stuff I'm not even showing you. Oh my gosh. I, ha I have no, I, no clue about this bowl. None. Frosted down here, sort of a cranberry pink up here with the floral it's raised on the the bottom smooth on the inside it's in great shape i just don't know i have i haven't had the chance to try to find it out find out where it comes from what it is that sort of thing my husband found this for me a yellow and yellow and is that brown yeah yellow and brown enamel ladle I love enamel pieces makes you want to get a drink of water out of a bucket they were very good bins and you haven't even seen oh my lord look look at this vintage ladies hat that I found look at this it's velvet with the, 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 I don't know how you call it. It's a tuck, a rolled tuck with bow in the front, grow grain ribbon bow in the front, feathers all the way around. It's the most beautiful. These are turquoise and white feathers. And this is a, um, gosh, it, it's a blue, but I don't know what the name of that blue is and got the round crown. Oh, that, oh, that's so pretty. I love that. There was a lot of Christmas in there and I always pick up the plasticky Christmas things. Let's see. See, this one's got a, still got a tag on it that says made in Hong Kong. I like the, the plasticky because that's what I grew up with. We didn't have any of that stuff. All the, the greenery and everything was, was plastic. So I pick up a lot of that because I love it. It reminds me of my childhood. Like this one. This one says made in Hong Kong on the bottom. And it's in this beautiful little candle ring. It's got a nice solid bottom too on it. So 
Oh, can't wait to use that. That one's fun. Got a set of pillowcases in the yellow roses. Those are good. Let's see. A vintage scrapbook. That's the kind that's, you know, got the, the string holding it together. Let's see, does it have a date? It's made in Holyoke, Massachusetts, but it's got the old yellowed pages and it's never been used. That would be fun. If you collect um, old pictures, this would be a good album to get to put your pictures in. I've never seen this before. It's William and the Magic Ring, a shadow casting bedtime story. And originally it came with a pen light that I do not have now. It, wasn't, it may have been somewhere else in the bins, I don't know. But you shine your flashlight and make shadows on the wall and read it. And it tells the story about William and the Magic Ring. Some of these, you have to bend them to get the, the right picture. But see, this one's an owl. So I thought this was just interesting. It was from the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, 1998. That, that's so much fun. I, I, I don't know if kids do <laughs> shadows and stuff on the walls anymore. A Linux uh, pie cake server, the ceramic in the, the holly. The, it matches the, the cups that I got. I think there's what from five and quarter rounds. Ooh, Judy, that sounds beautiful. That sounds beautiful. Let's see, does this have a date? Nope, not that I can see. I found a large tin. Isn't that pretty? Ah, uh, it's just, it's so gorgeous. Got a nice rusty, crusty bottom. The red sides. That's going to be so pretty at Christmas. I can't wait to, to use it. Let's see. I got a wooden jigsaw puzzle, Melissa and Doug. With all these cats and dogs and birds and butterflies and turtles and I think that's great. It's got their got there. Oops. Ah, don't you fall out of there. Ha <laughs> ha. I was too fast for you, wasn't I? You tried to fall out on me. Let's see. Oh. In case Diana ever sees this, I got to make sure I say this right. Let me get, let me get the other one so I can look at it and remember. Oh, it's not it's not in, okay. Vesterspach. Vester spot. I think that's how you say it. The German ceramic pottery. It's the tall coffee pot, teapot, pitcher, whatever you want to call it, with the lid. It's got one little mark right there. That's hard to see. Looks just looks like lights on it. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel so much like a chip as just a wear. Like, see down in here from the, the pot, the lid sitting down on it? It feels like a wear mark. So, isn't that pretty? Can you believe that survived in the bins? I was, I was shocked, very shocked. And along with that set, I got the the Christmas tree serving piece 
This is the good one. This is the one to find. I looked it up and was shocked by the price. Now, it's it's heavy because, you know, when you go to the bins, um, well, they're different. Like when we went to Austin, glass things are 20 pieces for $1.99, and everything else is like $1.49 a pound. But in Oklahoma City, things like this are still weighed by the pound, and so that's what you pay. You pay like 69 cents, something like that, 69 cents a pound. So this weighs right at three pounds, this one piece. And I thought maybe it had something that went with it that was missing, but when I looked it up, theirs was the only other one, I think there was one other, maybe two, like it, and theirs was just like it, didn't have anything else. So I have a lot of stuff on the table here, guys, so I'm gonna have to lean. And I got the, the trivet that goes with it. You can hang it on the wall. Or you can be trivial with it, be a trivet. Ah, uh, this is not Texas though, Dolores. We're gonna have to go to Oklahoma City because I've been to the bins in Colorado, the bins in Austin, and the bins in Oklahoma City, and Oklahoma City are by far the best. And then I got a set of five of the little bowls, and they're just as beautiful, and they're in just as good a shape. See, they've got the better sign on it where you can see it. I don't know if you can read that. Vester Spa. And I only know that because Diana covered it in one of her videos. Diana at Little Vintage Me 64. She was born in Frankfurt, Germany and speaks German. And so she was discussing some of the things that she sees on YouTube and the, the names that and hard to pronounce names. We've got a nice little deer. White ceramic with beautiful eyes, lovely eyelashes. Uh, let's put her over here. Tiny little Williams and Rogers silver trinket tray like that. I got this for me, just an old um, strainer of some sort, probably for tea. I want to use it as a riser on my shelf for other little items. My hubby found these and he's like, don't sell these. I want them. So, so this pair of skeleton keys. I don't blame them. I wouldn't sell them either. They're too cool. We've got a Noritake hand-painted little creamer. In wonderful condition. It says Noritake. Oh, and I found this and, and I could just see red, white, and blue for 4th of July. The little open edge milk glass candy dish. Isn't it sweet? Now, can't you just see you know, red, white, and blue display, you know, for your 4th of July stuff? And it, it wasn't broken. I get so surprised when they're not broken because I find a lot of broken stuff in there. Okay, in Oklahoma City, they put the glass stuff in totes about this big by about the same size, like a regular tote, you know? And if they're on a conveyor belt and they push them all out there and everybody stands behind the line until they're all full. Now in this are glass items, um, a few smaller housewares, games, toys, crafts, you know, some tools. It, things that should have been in the other bins end up in here. Now, 
because people always think there's a bunch of jewelry in there. And occasionally there's some jewelry. And then there's people who want just electronics. So when they say go, they run through there like crazy, just throwing and smashing and breaking. All you can hear is glass rattling and breaking when they first go through there. It's just a nightmare. And I try not to hurt too many people. I really do. <laughs> but that's where I, where a lot of the, the glass, I, oh my gosh. I should, I should actually take pictures of the broken things that I find there that would just break your heart. A nice little bundle of ladies' hankies still tied together. I'm assuming somebody's booth didn't make it, and that's where a lot of this stuff probably came from is somebody's antique booth. Now, I've got two of these. Now, I thought they were just the Manhattan pattern, but I looked it up and checked in one of my handy guidebooks. It is the Manhattan pattern by Anchor Hawking, not Indiana Glass. Anchor Hawking, except it's more of an ode to it because Bartlett Collins in the 70s made these in the 70s colors of green and gold. They call it avocado and harvest gold and maybe another color I can't remember. But the difference is, do you see this scalloped design here? On a anchor hawking Manhattan pattern, the whole edge would, would mimic that scalloped, scalloped design. But on the Bartlett Collins Ode to Manhattan, it's got a straight edge. They call theirs St. Genevieve. Or one time I heard someone call it St. Genevieve, Jean Vieve. I thought that was so pretty. It sounds so romantic to be Jean Vieve. I know. I, I know, Kat, and I have, I have fussed at people. Don't break the glass, please. You don't want me to break the electronics. Don't break the glass. Still. Okay. I got a little set of these little tiny glass ones. Look at the tops on them. They look kind of silver to me. I'm going to have to check them out. They look like they may actually be silver tops on these. Now, but now in the same shape, I found this one, but in a diamond point pattern. And it's got a newer looking top. But these, I think, may actually be at least what, silver plated. A set of these, I haven't had a chance to look up what the pattern is on this one. It's kind of like a flowers of some sort. But a set of these, and these are heavy. These are a heavy glass. But I, oh, but I got two of these and three of the gold ones. So, oh, let me show you these little things. I've never seen these. Maybe you have. Look, they look like a, a little loaf of rainbow bread. Let's see? Oh, excuse me, Wonder Bread. Rainbow Wonder Bread. And, come on, don't embarrass me. They're a clip, and I think they're a, a bread a bread package clip. Isn't that? Have you have you seen that? Have you seen these? I'm sure you know they're a little gimmicky thing, but I got a bag of them that had five of them in it. I thought those were cute. I found this and. Once again, the someone has washed it, so you can't you can't make out what it was. But it's the silver foil, and I'm assuming that was a Japan because it's not like a Lefton or anything. But all right, now I see people use these for their vintage for their business cards. But isn't this isn't aren't these uh, chopstick rest? Anybody know? 
I mean, it, it's old. But I thought it was a chopstick wrist. I see people use it for their business cards. So, I don't know. Nate, anybody know? I would like to be able to call them by what they really are. Let's see. Too late for Easter, but a very pretty set of egg-shaped salt and pepper shakers. Thank you, Kat. That's what I thought it was. It's just a spoon rest. It's not like for chopsticks. It's just a, a spoon rest. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't use chopsticks much, so spoon rest would work better for me anyway. I was thinking about putting my cards in it. My husband, I said, I don't know. I don't know if I should get this. My husband's like, oh, no, I like those. So he liked those. And let's see. Turn that back on, see what time it is. Hold on, excuse me. The only way I can tell what time it is is if my laptop stays awake. And if it goes to sleep, i got to wake it back up again. Some little Pilgrim salt and pepper shakers. I usually set up a big, long table for all my family to eat on. You may have seen it on my Instagram account, so I need more than one set of salt shakers. This last year, we had two, two different kinds of turkeys, so maybe next year, turkeys and pilgrims if I don't sell them. And it made the toothpick holders. Yep, you could do that with it too. You could definitely do that with it too. I found a single cup, but it was it was made in Japan. But look, look at this bird, these birds. Isn't that pretty? I thought, well, if you're gonna keep a single cup, these birds are gorgeous. And it's it's got a nice shape. I said, wake up. Even my laptop doesn't do what I tell it to. Anyway, I liked the shape, the overall shape of it, not just round. So, Oh, yeah, reaching. And a, okay, wait a minute. I knew what year this was. I thought, did it have the year on it? No, and I didn't look at it. But it's the a milk glass Mickey Mouse. And it is a Pepsi collector's cup. I don't know if that has any bearing on the value whatsoever, one way or the other. But he was in perfect shape. And so I thought maybe somebody who liked Mickey or Pepsi or Milk Glass might like him. I've only sold, tried to sell one other Milk Glass cup and it was an Elvis Graceland. Hi Judy. We're flush with Judy's today. Let's see. Shaving mug, right? Or did I get that wrong? He's a fancy little sucker. So, and he's not marked, so I figure he's not very old more reproduction -y, but I don't know. He's pretty, though, and he's not damaged. Hi, Laura. So, I thought, okay, good, yes. My husband goes, what is that? And I said, shaving mug. And then I thought, oh, gosh, I hope I'm right. I hate to not, I hate to not have the answer with my husband. I don't like to be wrong. Well, I don't like to be wrong, but especially don't like to be wrong with him. And then a little tiny, well, not tiny, but a little made in Japan picture with a very pretty flower on it, kind of rosy, magnolia-ish, but pretty. Not new. Thank you, Nate. I guess not everything is was marked. I expect everything to be marked and to let me know if it's old or not. This one is not very old. This is 2019. But I didn't want to leave her behind. 
I don't collect a bunch of precious moments, but she was an angel. You know, she reminded me of the Jim Shores. And she wasn't damaged. Her little wings weren't broken off. I saw another one this past weekend in Austin, and her wings were broken off. European. Ooh. Awesome. Fancy. Got a fancy shaving mug. Oh, and I got a bunch of these short koozies, you know. I got tall ones this last weekend, but they're great for when you want to store your glasses or, you know, I put them around glass things. It doesn't just have to be glasses. It can be anything glass that I want to wrap up and, you know, take care of it. It makes really good cushioning. And they weigh nothing for a giant bag of them. So, plus they're, they're good for your beer. So, just saying. A set of four of the... Thermoserve glasses. Got four of these fellas in a 70s wheat pattern, a harvesty pattern. They're all great except for one of them. And I've learned not to leave these things behind. It has a, a crack in the bottom right across there. But that's it. It's not up the side. It's not inside. It's just on that, that second layer bottom. So, let's see. Oh, let's have a drink. I'm doing good. I am just rushing through here. Yay for me. What time, what time? Oh, good. I've got plenty of time. I'm going to run out of stuff, if you can believe it. A set of four Fitz and Floyd Santa Cups. Aren't they just darling? Oh, he's so cute. Look at that Santa. Fitz and Floyd makes such cute Christmas stuff. I wish I had a chocolate pot or something to go with him but I, I when they were in there oh okay tammy <laughs> i'll let you know i kind of overlooked it i looked them i saw them and i was digging through stuff and i kind of i dug right past them didn't pay any attention and then i was kind of going through that area again to see if i missed anything and then then i I really saw what it was. It was like, oh wait, that's a, that's a Santa Claus. That's that's cute. And then I pulled it out, and it darned if it wasn't Fitz and Floyd. And so then I get to digging and found all four of them. Very pleased with myself. Very pleased. Ah, oh, let's see. It says Canada on the bottom. It's the Santa. Let me see. I need something behind him. That doesn't work. But it's a Santa jar. I need a piece of paper in him. I don't have one. Trust me, it's Santa. And his little hat comes off and you can fill him up with, oh, bye Nate. See you later. If you get through, come do my chores. I appreciate it. Fill him up with candies or buttons or cookies or cotton balls or anything you want he seals well i've seen what did i see i saw santa and not there but somewhere else santa and seen a snowman maybe but i hadn't seen him before and for that price i had to get him let's see oh so far over here okay EAPG pressed glass 
Isn't that a pretty pattern? I think that's so pretty. I think I have I think I have something in red in this. But it's the, the nappy dish, the lemon server. But look look at these edges. Can you see them? Little bitty tiny scallops. And then it's a wavy too. So it's really dirty. It should it should clean up really, really pretty. Some clear glass is just it's just fabulous. Some of it's just boring. I mean, especially if it doesn't have a pattern. And oh, come here, you. I found just one of these little candlestick holders, also of the EAPG. Does that help any? No. Maybe that works. Doesn't that catch the light? Pretty. Has little feet. And just just this beautiful rise for your candlestick to go in. And I was so disappointed that I only found one. But, you know, sometimes two is too many. Sometimes when you're trying to do a little vignette or, you know, one is all you need. Two is just too much. Well, we're officially Texan. I'm sitting at a car dealership waiting for my husband to buy a, uh, a truck. Okay. Is it a Dodge? You better be at a Dodge dealership. All I got to say for you is you better be at a Dodge dealership. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You get whatever kind of truck makes you happy, girl. One salt shaker like this. I am so drawn to the white with the red stripe. Did you see Jeffrey's video today that he put out going to the flea market? Oh, he's a Chevy man? Yeah, they work too. My husband is, has had all of them and now he swears by Dodges. I don't know. It must be easier to work on or something. I don't know. But th they look so 40s, this, this colorway. Especially with all these little rings on it. And I suppose this could be that old. It says, uh, I don't speak French. That's what it says right here. It says, Martha doesn't speak French. Uh, Campagna de Café des Café. Okay, here. You people who speak French, what does that say? I don't know. But anyway, if you saw Jeffrey's video today where he's at the flea market, he found like a refrigerator dish you know we find the glass ones he found one that's enamel that was white with red trim oh, oh be still my heart it was beautiful i loved it dearly dearly okay so is that it except for oh i don't know tammy are these are these worth anything there was a little deal of these. They're, you know, just Legos. But to me, these are the good parts. You know, the pig and the people. You can ride a pig. Look at that. You can ride a pig. And I've got a horse and rider. And she got a little thing on her head, so I just know that she's supposed to have a hat on, but I didn't see a hat. And come here, you. Uh, look, a sheep. A sheep. And a, look, it's a dog riding a sheep. See that? That's a puppy dog. So it's a puppy dog riding a sheep. I don't even know if that's legal. Hold on, I'm trying to grab this box without dropping everything out. Oh, oh, darn you. This is a good one. Hold on, let me get it. It's a chicken. A Lego chicken. Do I see a year? Where would I find a year? 
Nope. I don't see a year on anybody. I got another horse with a boy with like a sailor hat on and a mailbox and another chicken. I thought, oh wait, there's something on the side of this chicken. Let, let me check my chicken. It says Duplo. It's not Lego, it's Duplo. Oh, it is Lego. One side says Lego, one side Lego Duplo, hello. But it doesn't say a date. I'm looking way up inside the chicken and no, there's nothing. I just thought that the only parts of them, was, oh, it's not chicken, it's a rooster. Hello. Sorry, sir. Because there's a chicken. I got a rooster and a chicken. You haven't? Oh, well, that makes me feel good about them. I mean, I don't reckon they're anything like super expensive or anything, but I just thought if, if any of them was good to grab up, it would be the little people and the animals. That was what fascinated me the most. And let's see, about the last thing was I found a little pack of old candles, the little ones, which are really good for your little Christmas things, your uh, vintage Christmas ones. A lot of times they want to hold candles. Sometimes, And this is an odd size. Now, he's a little warpy, so I'm thinking I might have to blow dryer him. But, but here was the reason I really wanted to say something because you see this one is broke I got a chunk missing out of him now if you have candles that have broken don't throw them away I mean unless they're broken like right here but as long as they're broken down where you've got some usable candle you can take um, you got metal scissors you can heat some up and then makes it easier to cut the bottom without breaking the candle further. And then you have a shorter candle, but you still have a usable candle. So. Oh, really? Oh, wait, wait. Got to do it. Oh, wait, I don't have ant. No, the animals won't stack. The chickens might. The dog might. Nope. Well, the chickens don't have anything, so they're going to have to be on the top. I'm not sure this one went with it because it's got a smaller bottom. It doesn't have the big hole on the bottom. Let's see. <laughs> well, Judy, you played with way more, oh, sure. way more of these bad boys than I have. <laughs> oh thank you thank you the other ones were just uh, they were they were gone I'd, I'd got all the good out of them I'm very hard on my nails between doing dishes and, and working around the house and working outside working on the building so okay I did it. I can't believe I got through all of this stuff. And these are just the things I, I showed you. I found two big sacks full of material. I found, oh, a Christmas apron that I left over there. A stack of cards and stuff that I can use for package toppers about this thick. There's like six decks of vintage playing cards. <laughs> yeah, Judy, that'll do it. Like six decks of vintage playing cards. I want to print um, thank yous on them and use them on package toppers. I've considered um, doing my business card on them, but I'm just so, I'm, I haven't looked at them yet, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh, I found a uh, package of those those credit card protectors. You know, that's got the lining inside of it. 
so you can put your credit cards and stuff in it. Nobody can clone them. I found a package of those, and they're in the most fun little patterns and pictures, and they're great. What else? We got a Christmas tree. Not a big one. It's not, well, it's not a Christmas tree. It's more like the decorative pines on the stands that you put on your porches or in your house when you decorate at Christmas, you know, the kind of things that that any what are what are Kim cards? Either yeah, I don't know. You have to tell me what Kim cards are. Um so I found that not something I'd ordinarily spend my money on. Oh, and my husband found me the most beautiful paper parasol. It's a red with white cherry blossoms on it. It's got fringe hanging all around it, you know, with the wood spines and stuff. It's gorgeous. I left it over there. A, an easel. We found an easel. And several of the little metal, the wire for on your shelves to put spices and stuff on, the risers. I found two or three of those and a wooden one, too, that I could use for when I get my shelves built behind me to put this kind of stuff on. But I don't know. I can't. Um, I don't know what my favorite thing was. Probably, you know, it could be the patterns that I'll never make anything out of, the sewing thing. could be the Vesterbach. All this red ceramics that I can't believe survived. But but anyway, yeah. Oh, I know something else we found. Was it was that this one? It was the other one. No, this time, this in Austin we found all the DVDs. In Oklahoma City we found all the records of the LPs. Which I was very pleased about. So, let's see. What's going on in our world right now? Let's see. Right after me, in just a few minutes, at 4 o'clock, we have Christine at Side Street Market, and she will be with Lori Blue Flamingo on Lori's channel. So, make sure you go over there and see that. Then we have Kim at Oh My Vintage, followed by... Let's see. I don't know if Thrift Thrifting Adventures is on tonight or not. Vintageous Vintage. Doggone Happy Vintage. Tomorrow night, uh, Vintage Uprising Texas. That's Tammy at 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern. Um, Katie is usually with her from Vintage and Vinyl. Is she going to be with you tomorrow night too, Tammy? You are still having a live sale tomorrow, right? And if that's so, then Katie should be on at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on her channel. And let's see, do I got anything else? Oh, where's, oh, next Sunday, uh, Beth, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. I will be a guest on her channel for a live sale. It is a country and western theme. If you have not seen the uh, Instagram live posts on it where we both look ridiculously funny and tremendously sweet, I must say, in our cowboy hat and bonnets. But it's going to be a country and western sale that will be at 4 Central, 5 Eastern, and that is on Beth's channel. So I hope you guys will come and uh, join us there. And keep us company for a little while. And I will see you tomorrow night, as I said, on Tammy's. Does anybody else got anything going on that they would like to? You can throw it up now in the comments, um, the chat, or you can wait until the comments are live and put it there. That will last longer if you have sales. But you're welcome to. Not me. I don't. Well, I got Western stuff. Yes, I don't have that much Western stuff. I've been having to search out Western stuff. 
Judy, how many children did you have? I missed it. Let's see. Five kids. I met five kids and five grandkids and five generations. I had four. I wanted more too. But I'm I'm very happy that I got the four I did. One of them was a very tiny, tiny preemie, so I'm very lucky. I was very lucky with her. She was born at 27 weeks, and she weighed one pound, 15 ounces. She was like, she was about this big. You could hold her in the palm of your hand. Her little head would be right here, and her little feet, her little legs would hang off right here. She was so tiny. I had to wait eight years to get her. That's why my children are all spread apart. The first two are like four years apart and then, excuse me, 10 years. Then it's like 10 years in between the next section. Yeah, because I had a 79, a 83, a 93, and a 2000. Spread them all out. One husband. Okay, so I'll let you go. I hope everybody left me a thumbs up. Um, you'll share the, the video, get your friends to please watch. I had two boys and two girls. I'm sorry, Judy. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I won't even go there. I can't imagine. I hope you guys will stop by and see me again. See me on Sunday, next Tuesday. Look on Instagram. I don't know if it'll be a haul or a live since I just had a sale on Sunday with, with Beth. And then the following Friday, I'll be with Christine on her channel, Side Street Market. So, okay. I will let you go. Everybody go have a potty break, get a drink, get a snack so we can watch Christine and Lori. And um, have a good time. Love to you guys. Bye.